how uh, you, you know you came in last year and had to learn Sean's offense mm -hmm. with a bunch of new guys, and now yeah. you're in it for your second time yeah. around. Yeah. Uh, how much easier or better does it feel? through your workouts right now. Yeah, it's a lot nicer, you know, not having to learn it from the ground up. Now I'm just trying to do everything I can to continue to master it, you know, and, and continue to get better and better. And, and uh, bringing in a guy like Alan Robinson kind of gives me the opportunity oh. to, to teach, you know, and, and teach what I know. And, and guys like Cooper and all these guys that have been playing in the system for a while, to be able to teach somebody is almost the best way to learn it. So, uh, you What's know, that it's, noise it's about? Because I just love Alan Robinson. Yep. I tell people all the time, man, that's the most like the playmaker to me in the whole oh. NFL. Yeah. I mean, that, that was a... Oh, it was an incredible pickup yep. to pick up Allen Robinson for that football team after you lose a guy like Robert Woods because he does everything all over the football field. That's just it's, it's going to be insane. Mm -hmm. How are you going to keep a guy like Allen Robinson? Because Allen Robinson is a true number one receiver. Of course, of course, Cooper Cup is also. Do you not worry about feeding what both? Are you talking about? <laughs> so, by the way, oh, just throw him two balls. That's one more than he got pretty much in half the games he got. Yeah, yeah, I think when you're looking at where he's coming from, but he's not coming over there looking at where he's coming from. He's coming over there looking at where he can go. And that's why he wanted to talk to Matthew Stafford, like, where can I go? No more where I was, now where we're talking about going, and that's what I'm asking him about. Yeah, no, I mean, I think the great thing about the guys on our team, we're such an unselfish group of guys. You know, we're going to do everything we can to help the team win, but there's no doubt, no uh, doubt he's got a ton of talent. And um, I was on the sideline in Detroit. You know, watching him do his thing in Chicago for a lot of years, and uh, to have him on our team now is going to be a lot of fun. He, uh, he and Coop and, and Van and all the guys we have are going to be. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's one of our guys, game love to guys play. right, Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where you and the receivers, yeah. coach, they told me about, hey, these guys love to play. Allen Robinson, Coop, they love to play football. Those are my kind. Of you receivers. mentioned mm -hmm. Robert Woods is gone. Some other guys are gone too. Andrew Whitworth, right? A, yep. a guy a staple in the in the locker room, and then Von Miller, that, that leadership, and that's a. Is that a void now, or is that something that you have to pick up the slack, or where, where does that come from? Now? Yeah, you know, I have a lot of trust in the guys that we have in that locker room. There's no question we're going to miss those guys, um, both for what they did for us on the field, but also who they got, you know, who they were as guys and as they were as leaders on our team. But, um, you know, I obviously feel a little bit more comfortable in my second year there. Cooper's going into his roles as, as another year. We've got a lot of guys on the front. Um, you know, Rob Havenstein playing right tackle played as good as anybody last year. So I feel good about it. There's going to be new guys in new roles. There's no question. But something that uh, Sean does and our group does such a good job is of empowering those guys to lead. Um, have a lot of confidence in those guys' abilities to do that. Yeah, and it looks like you might have a, like a little mini ring ceremony before kickoff of opening night with Von Miller back in the house. Maybe he'll just get his ring. He can Switch have, unis, come on back. <laughs> for a quick second. I don't know about that. Uh, and then I'm just wondering, um, you know, for Christmas Day, a 1.30 p.m. Pacific time start, Do you are you going to bust out, dust off the Stafford Thanksgiving family plan? For that day, where you where you play a game and you go home and you celebrate a, a holiday, I mean, that's a great question. Um, I only ask those, Matthew. I hope my kids aren't watching, but my wife Kelly was saying maybe we just tell the kids that you know Christmas is the next day. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure what we're gonna. They're do young there. enough to believe it. Um, <laughs> you can't fool them. Turn the TV off, Chandler and Sawyer, if you're watching. But yeah, uh, we'll figure funny. that out when we get there. But yeah, maybe that is a uh, you know Santa got stuck in the uh, in the chimney. He's He's a little bit late, you know, delivering the presents. We see him after the game. I don't know. That's a great question. Either that or I go over there super early in the morning, but that doesn't sound like a good plan. That doesn't so. sound like that's a, a very uh, game day yeah, agreed. helpful plan. Yeah. Oh, or you could just, you know, there's a chimney comes down at night or something yeah, like that, right? Christmas night. Yeah, we'll see that's right. That's what's coming. Hey, man, thanks for coming in here and helping us kick off our uh, schedule release show. I don't think we've ever had a defending Super Bowl winning quarterback help us kick mm. off our show, but I guess that's the benefit of living across the street from the Rams, and also you've been a good guy to, to come down here. Thanks, Matthew. Appreciate yeah, I appreciate you guys having me. Thank you. Thanks, you got it. You got it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.